Hey guys, good morning. Yo here. Um, so, I'm getting ready to sit down and plan out my week and how everything's going to go. Which, yes, I should have done that yesterday, but I like keeping my Sundays free so that I can catch up on what different people that I follow on YouTube are up to and stuff like that. And just keep it a relaxing day. But anyway, so I'm going to do that. Before I do that, though, um, I want to tell you about an experience I had yesterday. And that was, there's a restaurant on a farm. I live in a farming area. I'm in the foothills of the Appalachians. And it has this really unique dining experience. At least, and it's not as much as unique as what it was back when Millie first started it, but when Millie started her restaurant, it was amazingly unique. Whenever she had pies or anything, it was all written on a marker board. And so, you know, you'd say, oh, I'd like to have, I don't know, let's say beans and cornbread. And you'd look up and you'd see a waitress, another waitress uh, erasing that from the board. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, we're out. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. And Millie was probably the greatest pie, pie paper pie baker that Ohio has ever known. And so her pies went the same way. So this was back early 90s uh, when I went there. Uh, I think I went with my mom to eat or something or a friend. And so I wrote a poem about the experience. Well, I thought, oh, this is so cool. You know, everybody's going to love this because everybody loves Millie's. So I had it post um, printed in the Daily Rag. And so everybody read this awesome poem I wrote. And yes, it was an awesome poem. And so somebody took it, they typed it up, put it in a really nice frame, and um, took some roses, I think half a dozen roses or something like that with it, and took it to Millie. And so they hung it up on the wall. Well, this is 2021. That was back in about 1990. This is 2021, and it's still there. I found it yesterday. I'd heard, you know, that Millie still had this, um, well, Millie's long gone now, but um, the restaurant still has the uh, the poem there. And so I, mom wanted me to go to Millie's and pick her up a pie. Well, once I got there, I said, you know, do you have any custard cream pie? And she goes, oh, let me check. Well, the waitress came by <laughs> and erased it off the chart. And it was like, it never changes. So, yeah, so I ended up getting Mom a cherry pie, and a piece of cherry pie, and so while I was waiting for her order, I was looking around on the walls, and right at the prominent spot, just as you're coming in, leaving the store, right there between the doors, the door coming in, door going out, is the poem that somebody had retyped up on another sheet of paper, made it even fancier, and um, had it up there, and it was like, oh my gosh, you guys are unbelievable. And the crazy thing is, I don't have the original copy anymore. I've moved so often that I don't have it. So I thought tomorrow I'm heading down um, river, 20, 22 miles down river, um, and I'm going to hang out on the riverbank and write and sketch. And I thought on my way I pass Millie's. And so I'm going to stop in with my camera and take a picture of it, and then I'll type it up and, and let you guys read it. Because, you know, it really is the Millie's Restaurant eating experience. And if you just heard that, that's my heater. I have a tiny little heater, actually. Let me show you. This tiny little heater heats my motorhome. And right now it's probably about 60 degrees in here. But anyway, so that uh, was a fun experience I had yesterday. And it was just, you know, when you look and you see your work, and I imagine it's the same if you're an artist and you go in and you see your artwork um, on a wall. And it's been there for years that somebody has bought and they've put it in their business and they're still promoting you. You know, that's, that's really, it's, it's an exciting experience you know, to think that people still love this. And when I mentioned it to the, to the waitress, I said, oh my gosh, I can't, I, you know, I can't believe that poem is still on the wall that I wrote years ago. And she goes, oh my gosh, you're the writer. I said, yes. And she goes, I 
love that poem. And it was like, yes, you know, so, you know, to see that it's still making people happy through the years and so much so that it's, you know, basically official part of Millie's restaurant, you know, is absolutely great. But anyways, I wanted to share that little experience with you. Um, today, like I said, right now, I'm about to sit down and plot out my uh, week. And the what I use to plot it with is the uh, Panda 2.0. And I'm probably going to do a video of it so you can see what this planner's like. For those of you who have projects that you're working on and you have a hard time staying focused, that baby. And then um, today I'm heading down into the field. We have one half our field is nothing but trees. It's its own little woods. So I'm going to be heading there with my backpacker chair and I'll take you guys with me. And that's going to be a different video. But anyways, have an absolutely fabulous day. Keep it fun and I'll catch you later.